friends i hope you are doing great <coughs> today we are going to start a new lecture series about organic chemistry and this was suggested to me by one of my friend she asked me to start a new series of lectures in which i should describe about the name reactions in organic chemistry you know and there are so so many reactions in organic chemistry under the name of scientist and chemists so what I have done in this lecture series or what I'm going to do in this lecture series is doing in an alphabetical in a systematic way about organic name reactions so guys if you subscribe this channel you will be able to see in this uh, channel about all the name reaction all the major organic name reactions in an alphabetical order with three key features of each reactions I will describe in each video one video will describe only one name reaction so I will define the reaction first then I will give you three features of that reaction that is what is reaction what is its mechanism and what research papers published on this reaction in literature so three uh, features about each reaction will be described in this video lecture series about organic name reactions today as I said this is an alphabetical series there is no preference to one reaction or another I will start from A and will go down to all the way towards Z of course I know you are most familiar with the famous reactions and you want to learn more about the famous reactions like Friedel Craft alkylation, Wittig reaction, Canizaro reaction you name on so it's better to start in an alphabetical way and after that they will be available on YouTube you can subscribe it and you can choose it from the channel which name reaction you want to see which mechanism of that reaction you want to look at it it's it will be up to you so it's gonna be a great library online library on YouTube anytime you can access it okay let's start with the Abramov phosphonylation so in this reaction we are going to see the phosphonylation means formation of a phosphonyl linkage and Abramov was the first chemist or the name of chemist who proposed this reaction and that's why this reaction is under his name okay and the definition of this reaction is conversion of al trialkyl phosphates phosphates into alpha hydroxy phosphonates in the presence of carbonyl compounds so when I say carbonyl compounds it could be aldehyde ketones esters or anything you know which contains carbonyl group so carbonyl group is to refresh your minds that is carbon double bond oxygen and I will discuss three features of this reaction number one reaction then mechanism then research papers published on this reaction in literature so what I have done is I first tell you that this reaction is important in terms of research as well if you are doing a synthesis organometallic synthesis or organic synthesis this reaction is you for you you can publish papers based on this reaction and I can give you eight examples where people have used this reaction and they managed to publish and it's very f uh, famous reaction and like it has a very rich history it started in 1982 and then goes to 19 84 you published in J general chemistry then archive their pharmacy in 2012 these are the references you can copy them or you can note down and type in google scholar and you will find the full research papers and this section is published in very good journals such as synlet which is basically a synthesis journal i have myself published in synlet as well like russian journal of general chemistry this is again a decent journal a very historical journal very old journal synthetic communications particularly for synthetic reactions so if you are a researcher doing MPhil research master research PhD research you can utilize this reaction and publish uh, this reaction in one of these journals particularly this reaction can be published in number seven journal that is phosphorus and sulfur and the related elements oh beg a pardon I have made a spelling mistake so elements and number eight is the tetraedon letters even tetraedon letters a very prestigious journal so you can publish this reaction in tetraedon letters so these are the areas where you can use this reaction and publish it 
of course you have to make the compounds by using this reaction let's further discuss the reaction of this name reaction so it starts from a carbonyl compound say for example in this case it's aldehyde so you need a ketone or aldehyde and this is the phosphorylating reagent and then you don't need any reagent like acid base or nucleophilic electrolyte no they will react together in the presence of heat and pressure and you can see this new bond will be formed this phosphorus will be converted into double bond oxygen that's phosphorylation and then this oxygen and silicon okay basically yeah let's see the mechanism of this reaction so the mechanism of this reaction starts from this like phosphorus can attack uh, can act as a nucleophile as you can as you might remember from the Wittig reaction where this phosphorus can attack on this carbonyl because this carbonyl is the electrophilic center and then you can possibly okay so when this phosphorus attacks on this carbonyl carbon then the carbon uh, double bond oxygen breaks and this bond shifts towards oxygen this is a very conventional reaction mechanism like you often see the nucleophile attacks on carbonyl and this bond shifts in the favor of oxygen because it's most electronegative element. now the bond between this carbon and this phosphorus, phosphorus will be formed in the next step so what I'm gonna do is write the whole reaction yeah, uh, so the next is phosphorus will remain as such and then OR of phosphorus will also remain as such but the new addition will be this that is the carbonyl carbon and the oxygen of that carbon so if you can see this phosphorus will take a positive charge on it here and there is oxygen and this is silicon trimethyl SI SI M E three okay and then there's a negative charge on oxygen this one which was the aldehydes oxygen when phosphorus attacked on this oxygen this oxygen carries a negative charge now further this negative charge can attack on this silicon oh sorry I need to show the arrow this oxygen can attack on this R group or silicon a silicon can also act as, as an uh, electrophilic center and then this bond breaks into the favor of phosphorus oxygen bond breaks into and then you will get a bond between oxygen and silicon like this one oxygen silicon bond and oh forgot to say and then you will have a this bond shifts inside here that will become a double bond there's this double bond oxygen and then you will get the product under the heat and pressure in the next step okay so in the next step you will see the product formation that is this one okay I will try again to explain quickly the reaction mechanism it's quite simple but sometimes it's tricky for a few students so I can and never ever try to memorize the reaction mechanism please you cannot memorize a reaction mechanism of organic chemistry use the knowledge of chemistry like phosphorus can make five bonds okay it has made three bonds so it has two lone pair of electrons like there's a pair of electrons two electrons available in this phosphorus so this can act as a nucleophile and this is a carbonyl compound 
which is a traditional conventional electrophilic center now this free pair of electron goes and attacks on this carbonyl and this bond breaks in the favor of oxygen oxygen carries negative charge so this is the oxygen which carries negative charge and this is a phosphorus which attacked on this carbon makes a positive uh, carry the positive charge now this phosphorus has made bond with this carbon so that is this one this carbon and this is the R of aldehyde and I forgot to mention the ORs ORs means OR there are no changes in the OR area because the reaction center is not the OR but the carbonyl and the phosphorus and the next step is this oxygen attacks on the silicon and this bond between oxygen and silicon breaks down in the favor of phosphorus and oxygen and there when this bond is shifted that bond moved in this area where my cursor is now this single line becomes double line that is this one and everything remain or or r and this oxygen makes bond with silicon i hope you got the mechanism and the reaction of this very informative reaction that's abramo phosphonylation and i will try to make more videos on organic name reactions in future and keep watching this channel for gaining mastery over organic name reactions and it will be an alphabetical order name reactions and we will go from a to z thanks for watching see you